a cut crease I'm doing like a bloody cut crease I don't know if you guys have seen this little makeup trend yet but I decided to give it a try so I'm just carving out my cut crease and I'm using the NYX um, soft matte lip cream and then taking the Tardius Pro palette I think I forgot what that shade is called but I'm just making it look like bruised so I'm using like dark reds dark purples um, just to make it look like bruised and I have other tutorials about how I do my cut creases on my channel if you want to go check those out but I'm really just outlining the cut crease I use the color pop. Um, I think that's a soft. Well, I don't know. It's a matte liquid lipstick. Um, I forgot the shade, but I'm using that to deepen the crease and just to make it darker and not so uh, like blended out. Then I'm taking the Ben I Fresh Scab, and this stuff really looks like blood. Like in person, it looks so much like blood like you know like a scab it was it was it was great makeup is just girl get into it so i'm basically just going into um the cut crease with the fresh scab and i'm just making it scabby bloody looking and at first i started off going a little neat just to get it like set the tone for it and then that's when I started to make it you know out of place because the good thing about Halloween looks and bloody looks and scary looks is that it does not have to be perfect it can be however you want you can mess up and it's okay because in real life if you had a scab it's not going to be this perfect scab if I sound crazy right now, you guys, I am delirious. Like, I'm trying to pull it together for the video because I really needed to get it done. But I am so tired. I was up to like 3 in the morning. I got my hair laid last night and I was up to like 2. Um, and so, yeah. You'll see my hair in my next video. I got lemonade braids lemonade day with the lemonade day so yeah i have so much hair so it took forever but i'm taking the same scab from benai and i'm using that to make a winged liner see how multi-use is what is the word i don't know multi-use i don't know but yeah <laughs> so I'm just doing that. And then I just go back in with the red and I just really like make it more like bruised and just like shade it in a little more. And then I, this is the completed bloody cut crease i think it turned out really good i uh, really like it especially in person then i'm taking the benai liquid latex and we're about to get into some things uh, we are going to get into the fun part the mouth sold mouth um this is special effects sold mouth i was very much so inspired by a very talented artist on YouTube. I have to link her 
YouTube channel below um, so you guys can check her out. But I'm using toilet paper tissue and a little tip would be to, this was the first round so I mean if you have, if you use thin toilet paper it's, you're good. But we use the good thick tissue around here. And, but if you use the cheap thin toilet paper then that's fine too. But I'm sorry, a pet peeve of mine, I really hate thin tissue like it has to be the good tissue thin tissue is just like you know I'm sorry if that's bougie but no just gonna repeat the steps until you get it as thick as you want I did this like maybe what was this this is my third time so I did it like probably like six or seven times um and I'm just repeating that step, adding a liquid latex on just to make it um, layered and just so it looks 3D. And while it dries, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Glow Kit and I'm taking the shade Spectra. And then I'm just highlighting as normal. Even though this is a scary tutorial, I'm still going to put on highlight. You don't have to, of course, if you don't want to. And this was my mistake. Putting cotton balls on there to make it thicker. This was so hard to in the end. So take my advice and do not do this. I just wanted to show y'all. Just so y'all can learn from my mistake. Not to use the cotton balls. Because... It's so thick and it's going to be hard to cut through the mouth. It's hard to stick it on. As you can see, the liquid latex, it kept pulling the cotton. Just stick to the toilet paper. It will make life so much easier. You will spend way less time doing this. Um, it took me so long to cut through the cotton. And it took me so long to put holes through the cotton. It just took this tutorial probably took like an extra hour because I could not cut through the cotton ball for the life of me and it was so hard but anyway thanks for coming to my TED talk or is it TED talk whatever you get my drift so I was putting foundation on the on the mouth just to make it look like more of my skin tone and then it was a little dark so then I went in with the Estee Lauder foundation on top of it now i'm adding blush to the mouth just to make it more like pinkish and like irritated looking um that was kind of bright though so i added max blush and ambering rose but that part somehow mysteriously got cut out then i start to cut through the mouth i was so scared to do this because i did not want to stab myself in the mouth but um, just cut through. See, it was so hard. I had to cut so much of that out. My camera ended up, y'all know I have camera issues. That camera is so bougie. So, I had to like go off of camera to finish cutting because it was so hard. That was only through one layer. Um, it wasn't through the entire thing. It was so hard to cut through. So, I'm telling you, do not do the cotton balls only the tissue and it was so hard to really start ripping the mouth the top of the mouth off so not a good choice so drained after I finished cutting their mouth but this is the finished product um this is how your mouth should look I started with the NYX um lip matte soft matte lip cream but it wasn't dark enough so I'm using my MAC 
lipstick in I believe cyber maybe yeah I think and I'm just putting it all over the mouth just so it just looks dark purple bruised and yeah a lot of my Halloween tutorials all of my Halloween tutorials are with the makeup they are, I don't go and buy like face paint or anything like that I just use makeup because makeup is just to show you guys that y'all can use makeup products for different things they are very useful and you can use them in multiple ways but then I just take the purple, the lighter purple, and I just go around the perimeter of the mouth just to cover up the white and just to make it look like bloody, I guess. <laughs> or like bruised and bloody. Yeah, that's right. That's the right word. Then I'm taking the scab again and just putting that all over my lips, all over my mouth, just to make it look really gross and scab-like. And I'm just going to continue to do that. It's okay if you, I kind of like went OD and accidentally went on the mouth. But that's okay because it's going to get covered up with blood anyways. So I was not mad at it. I wanted it to look like it wasn't staged. I wanted it to look real life in real life. And I just do that. And then I'm taking some juke cord that I got from Walmart. And I poked holes like just in front of me, like you're gonna see. I'm just pulling that cord through the holes. So I did not get that on camera, me putting the holes, because I told you guys it was such a struggle to cut through that cotton that I couldn't get it on camera. But I just pre put in the hole, pre punched the holes in the mouth at the top and at the bottom, and now I'm just taking the cord and pulling them through and I use the matte the NYX matte cream to like um bind the end of the cord together so that way because once you cut it it gets all weird so that's what I used to bind it together so it would just slip right through the hole and I'm just taking that and just going up and down and pulling it through um the holes that I pre-punched in the mouth and excuse the mouth that's coming up I told you guys that was from the cotton balls trying to cut I almost ripped my mouth off and my hands and my fingernails look so disgusting but I actually like that because it looks more realistic and that's exactly why I did not get my nails done because I already knew with this look, it was going to get very messy, and I would have been pissed if my nails would have got messed up, um, just because it's a lot of work. cut the string a little further I mean sorry shorter see I'm out of it but I cut it shorter so they just wouldn't be sticking out so far and then I'm just retouching up my mouth with the fresh scab because after all the pulling tugging cutting the, the scab did get um like ruined um so i'm just going over it again adding another layer of the scab on my mouth and chin in the like outer portion of the mouth and now i am gluing those two ends down i'm using duo glue the eyelash glue just to skip just to like get them to lay down I'm being resourceful here people and then I'm taking stage blood from Benai with a sponge 
and I am just putting that all around the mouth just to make it look more bloody and gross and I like using the sponge with the blood because it looks like splattered on my face instead of just like rubbed on my face so that's the way that I like it to look and I just continued to do that until I got the desired look that I wanted and I just kept adding blood to the stage blood to the sponge and just dabbing it on my face on my cheek around the mouth covering up any like weird parts of the mouth And that is the end of my first Halloween tutorial of this special effects soap mouth. I really love how it turned out and I'm going to get some sleep now. Um, stay in school kids, get rest, go to sleep, do your homework, take vitamins, drink water, all of that. I don't know. But